Welcome back, everyone. Technology is constantly changing. That means the way people receive and use information is changing, too. This is becoming more evident in this year's presidential polling. WCBI's Selena Schaefer is live in the studio to explain. Selena? Joey, you can't get on social media nowadays without seeing some sort of election content or being asked some sort of campaign question. I took a look at how this is changing the political game. Times and technology are changing, and so is the way political polling is being handled. Generations ago, decades ago, even just a few years ago, polling was essentially, you would call a landline, um, random digit dialing methods where numbers would be generated um, on a random basis and people would get phone calls based on that. Nowadays, it's as easy as clicking your computer mouse. Dallas Breen is the executive director of the Stennis Institute at Mississippi State. He says this updated technique has changed the demographic being targeted from older to younger voters. So it makes polling a uh, completely different um, endeavor when it comes to trying to get people's opinions. Breen also believes candidates are using this evolving social media to their advantage and targeting millennials specifically. But I think a lot of the candidates are actually using that to get in touch with the younger voter. So you're getting more active, more vocal, younger participation in presidential elections and hopefully, if we're lucky, state and local elections as well. Students at Mississippi State seem to agree that though they have easy and instant access to these polls, doesn't necessarily mean they'll respond. That doesn't always mean that like the younger generation will take part in it just because it's at their fingertips. No, I say you know that's a good thing because you know I think the younger people should really look into that type of stuff. It's definitely like more like available to younger people now, like you know, because like nobody has landlines. Well, the younger generations have to be able to get out there and vote because they have a voice as well as the adults. Unfortunately, Breen says that this change has made it difficult for older generations who may not be part of social media to have their voice heard. Selection, though, of getting that that demographic, it, it's tougher and tougher. Now, Breen says that hashtags help pollsters ask more than t the typical yes or no questions and allows them to focus on more specific topics that concern voters. Joey, back to you.